Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can host your React app on AWS S3. So over here, I have a very, very simple React app. It is a quotes app that I use to fetch random quotes using the Quotable API. And this is how it looks like. Basically, if you refresh the page, it's going to fetch a random quote from the Quotable API. So this is the project that I'm going to be using as an example for hosting a site. And if you want to use the same project, you can actually download the code from my get server there's a repository there and i'm going to leave the link in the description below so the first thing we need to do in order to actually set up our aws s3 bucket is we need to first of all create a bucket that's the first thing we need to do so we're going to click create bucket and let's call it um random quotes website let's call it that and here for the object ownership, we're going to disable ACLs. And here for uh, block public access, we're going to disable block all public access because we want the um, HTML files and, you know, all the files in the bucket, which are going to be our website's bundle, to be accessible from the public. Bucket versioning, we're going to disable that. Tags, we don't need one. I mean, you can put a few tags to, you know, have some meta information about the bucket, but... We don't necessarily need that. And now let us create a bucket. Ooh, and uh, yeah, this one. I forgot this one. Uh, objects become a public. We don't care about that because we want our website to be accessible from the public. So we're going to create the bucket and let's wait till AWS creates the bucket. And yeah, we just got our new bucket. So you're going to go to the bucket and here we need to first uh, fix a few properties here. The first thing we need to do is we need to scroll down all the way down till reach static website hosting. We're going to click edit. And here we're going to enable static website hosting, host a static uh, host a static website. And the index document, I'm going to call it index.html because when you actually um, build a React app, when you basically generate the bundle, the entry point is index.html. So we're going to se uh, select index.html and then we're going to save changes. So this will give us our endpoint. So if we visit this endpoint now, we're not going to get anything. We're going to get an access denied because we need to fix some permission policies first. So I'm going to scroll up. We're going to go to permissions. And here, we're going to write a few bucket policies here. So we're going to click edit. And here, we're going to first go, uh, we're going to use a preset. So let's select S3 here over the um, add action section. We're going to select S3. And here, we want the get object um access level so basically this will allow us to fetch or you know read the um the content of the bucket so we have selected that and a resource the resource is going to be an object and here this is going to be the name of the bucket so basically this is going to be the specific resource which we can use so this is going to be the bucket name and we're going to remove the curly braces and the object name, we want everything inside this bucket to be accessible since this is going to be our website's files. So you're going to put a an asterisk here and we're going to add resource. Now for the principal, we are going to make a string and put asterisk in here. So this is going to be our policy. And now we can save the changes. So we have fixed our policies. And now if you actually go to the website, you see it's it's going to say 404 not found because it says the specified key does not exist. It's trying to find index.html, but it cannot find something called index.html. So let us actually go to a React project here. Um, so I have this running in the background, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to build the React project, basically generate the bundle. So if I actually do package. Uh, if I actually open a package.json, you see there is this um, build script, which we can run to generate the bundle. So we're going to do that. So we're going to say yarn build or npm build, depending on what node package manager you're using. And it's going to take a while to generate an optimized build. Okay, it didn't take a while. My bad. So if we actually run the surf command here, uh, you need to install surf first. If you want to run this command, so you can just do sudo. Um, oh god, I can't type npm install dash dash global serve. Or if you're on Windows, you don't need sudo. We're going to do serve s build to see if this runs perfectly or not. And yeah, this runs okay. So we don't have a problem here with this. 
So let us actually now deploy this on AWS. Let's deploy this to AWS. So the first thing we need to do is we need to configure our um, AWS CLI. Now there's two ways you can deploy your application to AWS S3. First thing you can do is you can actually copy the contents of your build folder. So we can do this. So we have the generated bundle or the generated files. You can just drag and drop all of this over here, but I don't think that's the best way. The best way would be to use the CLI, the AWS CLI. So the thing we need to do is first configure the CLI. Now, I hope that all of you know how to configure the AWS CLI since I'm not going to be showing this in the video. But if you don't know how to configure the CLI or if you haven't configured the AWS CLI already, I'm going to leave a link for a tutorial about that in the description below. So let us actually assume that we have configured our CLI. So what we're going to do is we're going to do AWS S3 sync. So we're basically going to synchronize the files with an S3 bucket that we own. So we're going to do AWS S3 sync and then the name of our folder. So all of our uh, files have been generated in the build folder. So if the files were in the current folder, we're just going to do dot. But since this is in a build folder, we're going to do build slash. And then we're going to type in the name of the bucket with uh, in, in a URI format. So S3 colon double slash. And we're going to paste in the name of the bucket that we have here. So this is our bucket. So we're going to paste this in here, random quotes website. We're going to hit enter. And now it should start uploading the files to the bucket. So this has uploaded the files to the bucket. If I hit refresh now, you're going to see that our files are all over here. So now what we can do is we can just go to properties and we can just click this here, uh, the static web host website hosting link. And this should load our quotes app. I have dark mode on here. Let me turn that off. Okay. So this is our quotes app. So this is basically how you generate a, uh, this is basically how you deploy a React app to AWS. So this was a very, very short video, but I hope this was helpful. And if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. It helps me out a lot and motivates me to create better videos. So that's all for today's video. Have a good day, everyone.